Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, rectangles put together as you can see in this given uh, diagram. And as a result, we get this uh, blue shaded uh, parallelogram uh, DEBG. And moreover, the width uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 8 units. And the diagonal uh, AC of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 8 times uh, square root of 5 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on the width uh, of this uh, rectangle. We know this is uh, 8 uh, units. And since uh, these uh, two rectangles are identical, so therefore uh, this uh, side length is going to be equal to this side length, uh, this side length, uh, and this uh, side length. If this side length is uh, 8 units, this has got to be 8, 8, and 8 across the board. And now our next task is uh, to calculate the length uh, of this uh, rectangle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we know this angle is 90 degrees uh, since we are dealing with these uh, rectangles. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, the length of this uh, rectangle uh, AB. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse for this triangle is uh, 8 times uh, square root of 5. And our two other legs are uh, 8 units uh, and this uh, AB length. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, AB square plus uh, 8 uh, square equals to 8 times uh, square root of 5 whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and simplify. So we got uh, AB square plus 64 equal to 320 and now we are going to subtract uh, 64 from both sides this is gone so therefore our a b square value turns out to be 256 i'm going to undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 16 units and since uh, AB length uh, represents the length of the rectangle, so therefore uh, this length of this rectangle turns out to be 16 units. So thus we figured out uh, both uh, the length uh, and the width uh, of these rectangles. And if uh, this uh, length of this rectangle is uh, 16 uh, units, then all uh, these lengths uh, are going to be 16 uh, units uh, across uh, the board and finally this uh, 16 units as well and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right uh, triangles and now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, triangle dae and the other triangle uh, efb are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle congruency theorem and we know these uh, two angles uh, are uh, our uh, vertical uh, angles this angle is 90 degrees uh, this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this third angle has got to be congruent uh, as well and finally we got uh, this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length and since uh, these uh, two right triangles are uh, congruent so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, EF uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, AE. If this side length, I'm going to label this one uh, X, then this side uh, is going to be X as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, length of the rectangle is uh, 16. And this segment uh, EF length uh, is uh, X. Then this uh, remaining segment length uh, DE is going to be 16 minus uh, X. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle DAE whose uh, side lengths are uh, 8X uh, and 16 minus X. 
and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 16 minus x, whereas our two other legs are uh, 8 uh, and x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x squared plus uh, 8 square equal to 16 minus uh, x whole square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, x square plus 64 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this binomial on the right hand side so therefore this could be written as 256 minus 32x plus x square and now we can see this x square and this x square is gone and in this uh, next step, I am going to move this 64 on the right hand side, whereas I'm going to move this uh, negative 32x uh, in the opposite direction. So therefore, we can write uh, 32x uh, equals to 256 uh, minus uh, 64. So therefore, we can write uh, 32x uh, equals to 192 on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide both sides by 32 to isolate x. This 32 and 32 is gone. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 6 uh, units. And since uh, our x value turns out to be 6 units, so that means uh, this x length is going to be 6. Uh, and this is going to be 6. Uh, likewise, this uh, 16 minus x is going to become 16 minus 6. Uh, is going to give us uh, 10 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, blue shaded uh, parallelogram uh, DEBG and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region and now let's recall the area of a parallelogram formula area equals to base uh, times the height and in our case uh, the base of this uh, blue parallelogram uh, is uh, 10 units and the height uh, of this uh, blue parallelogram uh, is uh, 8 uh, units. So therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So therefore uh, our this uh, blue shaded area is going to be equal to our base uh, is uh, 10 and uh, our height uh, is uh, 8 uh, units. And if we multiply the right hand side, the area of this blue shaded region turns out to be 80 square uh, units. So thus the blue shaded area of this uh, parallelogram turns out to be 80 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.